Welcome back. Part two of Hugh Taylor's Eye Catch is coming up right now. Here's a list of the horses you can expect. And you can also always catch up on these. They're on the At The Races website anyway, aren't they? Well documented there. So uh, yeah, can... we got on the YouTube channel, the At The Races YouTube Ooh, channel. A lot of hits. We'd be rivaling that uh, jockey's thing, won't you? <laughs> anyway, there they are. Let's have a look at some of these. Aldermore is the first one we can have a look at. Trained by Stuart Williams. Um, had a lot of chances. Six wins from 40 starts, three of those on the all-weather. And caught your eye at Lingfield. A bit of Lingfield form here. Beaten less than a length by Saskia's Dream last time on the new on the newly laid Lingfield surface. Yeah, and it seems to be bedding down nicely. It, it seems to have quickened up a little bit since the initial slow meetings. And I like this. He just gets held up again. This is a recurring theme. He held up again on the home turn. And he makes up quite a lot of ground in the final furlong and a half. And I, I thought this was worth putting in partly because of the run of the horse itself and also to highlight the fact that Stuart Williams' horses, Stuart Williams has not had a good year, but these horses seem to be in much better form now. And uh, Alderwell, I really like the way he finished there. Even though it's a bit of a bunch finish, he's the one who's made up the most ground from the rear. He's got lots of form at Lingfield over six and seven. I think he won the Blue Square, that Blue Square series oh, yeah, last year. Um, and when he's on his game, he's, he's a decent horse around there. And easy, he could easily pop up, couldn't he, a few times during the winter? Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure they'll keep him going now because he seems best on Polychak, so it would make sense for him to keep running there. Philly now of Marcus Trogonings called Esther Dharma, who's a three-year-old, has uh, been quite lightly raced, although she's won three of her six starts. And the latest of those is here at uh, Lingfield, beating Fleeting Image. Yeah, this was a race run at a true gallop and running run a good time. It's, it's sometimes quite difficult to look at the times at Lingfield over the long distance because A, there's so few good class races and B, there's so few truly run ones. Well, but, especially with this new track laid down. Well, yeah. yeah, there's that to it, although you can use comparative times uh, from, from, the, from the old chat. But um, I thought this was a really impressive win in a decent quality handicap. She's gone up to a mark of 89. I think she's the type of filly who could go much better than the rating suggests if they try an enlisted company because she's still lightly raced. It'd be interesting to see where they go next with her because she's from the, the very, very good height of fashion line. So she'd be quite valuable as a broodmare, I would think. And I'm sure they'll be looking at some stage to try and get some black tight with her. By Marju out of a Sadler's Wells mare. So beautifully bred and probably that's her third win in a row despite being, you know, and elevated in the weights, you think she can win well, again? Well, she's, she's still relatively unexposed at this sort of trip. Um, she's only had a, a, a couple of starts at, at this sort of trip. She's improved as she's stepped up in trip. She'll stay further as well, I think, if they wanted her to. But um, I, I, I suspect they'll try. There's, there's a listed race at Kempton in a couple of weeks' time, or that might be a bit hot. But um, if she's kept in training, I'm sure they'll, they'll have a dart at a listed race at some stage. A Lucy Wadham trained T-Roll filly coming up now called Nullabor Sky. We can see in action. Again, she's only had three runs so far. Her latest run was here at Lingfield, again on the newly laid track. You can always tell, if, you can just tell by the colour, actually. It looks mm. sort of like porridge, doesn't it? Um, finishing behind a horse called Mrs Bannock. Beaten quite a long way. What, what, what do you like about this run? Well, the next two we're going to show are almost identical in, in the run. They're both horses having their third run in two-year-old maidens over a trip that the pedigree suggests is on the sharp side and they stay on late having been a little bit outpaced and got behind. And you see she had to, again another one who had to wait behind horses for a little while and the race is all over for her entering the straight and you, you see the, blue, the horse in blue in Godolphin comes with quite an impressive um, finishing burst to win the race but behind her I thought that Nalaba Sky the way she stayed on in the closing stages suggests she's going to be very interesting in handicaps when stepped up in trip. And she's been given a mark of just 60. I'll be really surprised if they can't do very well with her in handicaps. No, maybe, she was maybe putting in a some couple of furlongs. Good late work there, wasn't she? Yeah, I think that was. I'd say she's probably the pick of the, the ones I've put up this week. That actually. One, oh, um, that was only, only the 1st of November. I was wondering whether the Godolphin horse looked impressive there, too. Yeah, but he, he'll he be, is it a, probably a she, she'll be running in probably Mrs. better Bannock. quality. Yeah, um, this, this filly's rated 60 and is, you know, she's going to be really interesting in, in handicaps, especially if stepped up in trip. Now the next one, interesting to see what you say about this one, Plutocracy, trained by David Lanigan. I saw him back in the spring when we were filming at uh, David Lanigan's for main sequence and uh, this was a horse he liked a lot. He's only had three runs so far, wasn't seen before September mm -hmm. and this is his latest run on the 1st of November, finishing not beaten that far in a, in a seven furlong maiden. And this is a very similar run, to, as I say, to the one we've, we've just seen from, from Nalaba Sky, seven furlong maiden, 
almost in, last yeah the in a position turning for home to be fair outpaced um this trip would would be too sharp for him i'm sure and uh he's, he's going to make late progress from a long way back and he's going to be one who it looks uh, like he's going to be tailed off there, yeah he, he still looks quite green actually yeah, yeah, he still looks very looking green around, isn't he? Um, and this is a stable who in fact the exact same colors they've, they've done very well with progenitor who improved markedly once switched to handicap once switched to handicaps and stays on late still looks green needs further and he's rated 70 which is a fair bit higher than the other horse we just looked at but i'm, I'm be surprised if he can't make his mark in handicaps yeah. as well look out for plutocracy next one Pretty well exposed, has had 34 runs but has won five times, trained by Lee Carter. This is Mary's pet, who's a five-year-old mare. Um, her last run was at Lingfield when she finished six of, uh, of 13 behind North Central but wasn't beaten that far, ridden by an in inexperienced jockey as well. Yeah, and she's, she's gone off too fast. Um, well, she's not got home over seven furlongs. All the five wins have been over six furlongs, she all five to... making all. Um, she's the one in the lead. Oh, and um, okay. and she's um, she's so a she's filly who's um, yeah her, her best form is is over six. She's won on her only start at Sutherland. She's just gone off too fast here. And, and um, does she, she usually do it from the front? Though? She usually does it from the front. All five wins have come when making all. To, to the two furlong pole, she was faster than the the class three seven furlong handicap that was running a good time, which is a good indicator of the fact that she's gone off too fast. And I think she's in very good form, and she, they can they can take her to Southall or they can keep her on Polychat. Okay, and we got a jumper to end with. Yeah, a token jumper from Ascot this weekend. Um, this was a race won by um, Hadrian's Approach at uh, Ascot on Saturday, and Capca de Cerisi in this um, just two mile plus. A novice's chase caught your eye, Venetia Williams. Yeah, we're about to see him make a blunder at the second last when challenging for the lead, and that completely took the stuffing out of him. And it's a shame because he jumped really well up until then, and he doesn't, he's tired now, and he doesn't jump the last all that well either. Um, but he's gone much better than his finishing position suggests. And uh, this was his seasonal debut, and Venetia Williams' horses traditionally aren't at their best on their on their comeback run also two mile three furlongs might just stretch his stamina i was going to say because nearly all mile. these other form has been over shorter it's been over shorter i think he's a two mile horse but this was his chase debut and other than that bad blunder two out he jumped really well he looked like um he'd taken well to fences he'll get the four-year-old's allowances uh, allowance and he looks one he'll do well in novice chases okay and then there'll be plenty more jumpers you'll be looking at during the... I'll have a look, ahead. yeah, I'll probably concentrate more on the old weather, but I'll, try, I'll keep an eye on certainly the better class jumping anyway. OK, and today, you fancy a yep. couple today, we can have a look at, uh, at those. At Kempton, in the 6.25, one point to win on each. Comedy House, in the 6.25 race of Michael Madgewicks. And uh, in the 7.25 at Kempton, a horse trained by Michael Atwater uh, called George Guru. Uh, Comedy House, first of all, who carries top weight in this... Uh, Two mile handicap. We can see Comedy House finishing seventh uh, recently at Lingfield. Yeah, and he didn't get the run of the race here at all. Uh, he was w very well backed in the sort of in the lead up to the race, the last 15, 20 minutes before the race, and he just got too far behind. And he, he goes out of shot, I think, for a, a brief period here. But he finishes really well down the outside and isn't beaten far in seventh. The question mark is stamina because although he won a bumper at Lingfield, it was a very steadily run bumper. Um, but if he if he stays the trip, I think he's well handicapped on this surface. You can see he finished as well as anything. Never run over anything like that. And just a